very close. Years ago, uh, you had uh, structure and cabling. Before structure and cabling, it was unstructured cabling. Do any of you guys remember that thick black coax cable above the ceiling rafters? There you are. Good, good, good. So I just remember the one coming down. Anyhow, and do any of you remember when token rain was bigger than Ethernet? Yeah. So uh, we had some proprietary structured Ethernet. What this shows is Ethernet, shared Ethernet and, and token rain. We had FEDI APM. Does anybody remember uh, DAISY systems? Right? And Codeon? Uh, Great. Uh, cable term? Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyhow, Ethernet in uh, enterprises was uh, was quite popular in the in the nineties, and then sometime around this early nineties time frame, we came to switch ten meg Ethernet and switch ten meg Ethernet only lasted a couple quarters, and then bam, it went over to hundred meg Ethernet, and it's Howard's company and. A couple others that just turned the whole market on its on its ear. Uh, look at the scale there. It was uh, rapidly up to uh, up to like a ten billion dollar market. Right now, uh, this is just Ethernet switches. All right, there's Ethernet adapters. You've got Ethernet and optical transport. You've got a lot of other Ethernet. But this is the the, the mother of Ethernet. We are in the land. And uh, we're at about $20 billion a year. Just to show you the, the longevity. Now, now, just to turn to the panel here, set you guys up. Ethernet started out in carrier networks back in the early 2000 time frame using the LAN type of equipment in the carrier uh, networks. But then we got these carrier style uh, Ethernet switches and routers. And as you can see, they started replacing those frame relay uh, ATM switches. And this is a relatively new market and it's growing quite rapidly. Uh, new applications like LTE will probably drive it even farther. 